Hi, everyone. Welcome to my yarn room and welcome to the second edition of the Pocket Shawl. <laughs> my name is Ginger. I am the Yarn Geek. And tonight we are going to be crocheting the sides and the pockets on our Pocket Shawl. Um, <laughs> so before we get started, I want to say hi to everyone. Hi, Lori. Hi, Jessica. Yay, Miss Jamie. Miss Jamie, I've been meaning to call you. <laughs> I have been so crazy busy out of my mind with my phone. I got a new phone. Jamie, I got an Apple. And <laughs> it is driving me nuts. Hi, Cheyenne. Because... Like some of this stuff that worked really well with an Android doesn't work super well with an Apple. And I'm in the big learning curve right now. Hi, Mal. Hi, Marlene. You guys ready to work on this second part of the pocket shawl tonight? Well, I'm almost ready. I did not get the full length of my pocket shawl done. But what I'm going to do is show you on the end that's already done. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Denine. Hi, Sydney. And so I'll show you how to do it. I, um, I'll just pretend like I've already got it all done, all the full length of it, and then I'll show you how to make the sides. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jamie, the apple. Let me tell you, anybody right now, if you've ever switched from an Android to an Apple, it's going to take some time but don't give up. <laughs> Hi, Quilty. Never give up. <laughs> Hi, Valerie. If, if you can't, if you can't, uh, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? I have been married four times. <laughs> Hi, Mel. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed. Um, whoops. Mel, finished my first attempt, but ran out of yarn. Oh, no. That's okay. You know what? Find something close to it. Find something that's completely contrasting. It, it doesn't matter. Just finish it with whatever, and it'll be beautiful, and tell everybody you meant to make it like that. Deneen, no, LOL. I'm making fingerless gloves. <laughs> Just here to learn and visit. Well, Deneen, that sounds perfect. You can make, uh, because you already have it down, you already know how to make the pocket shawl. <laughs> Jamie, my spell, mat, my spell check automatically calls you ginger snaps. I know, every time I type in miss, it always says Jamie. <laughs> what can we do? Cheyenne ran out of yarn, so I had to go and buy a similar color, LOL. Just tell everybody you meant to make it like that. That's what I say. Deneen, I just switched this year too. Did you have troubles? It's craziness. Hi, Crochet King. Hi, Michelle. Jamie, I'm sorry I'm like the pocket shawl queen. I'm making baby blankets because I'm not sure why. <laughs> because baby blankets are so fun to make and they're little. <laughs> you can finish them faster. Hi, Jeannie. Good evening. Woke up just in time. All right. Oh, my gosh. I see little pills and shots. Are you sick? I hope you feel better. I was home with um, my little granddaughter, Abby, today. She was sick. Emmy wasn't sick. So, I mean, I think she's getting sick because she's got a little stuffy nose and she took a long nap. Hi, Shatika. Good evening, good evening. Denine's still trying to figure out my apple. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. My apple won't let me upload shorts. I don't know what's wrong. It says you have made no videos. And I'm like, dude, Apple, do you know me? I've made like 600 videos. <laughs> so Apple, don't even get me started. <laughs> Hi, Kim, Yarny Bestie. Oh my gosh. Have you guys watched Kim's video yet today? Her video about the uh, clearance sale at Hobby Lobby. Oh, just a bug. Tired and achy. Well, I'm glad. I hope you start feeling better. 
super duper soon. Hi, Debbie. Working on socks again. Loving crocheting socks. You know what? Me and Kim were just talking about that a few minutes ago. On your third pair in two weeks. I'm not going to spoil anything, but I'm going to say that there is a sock pattern book involved in the clearance sale that you might want to get. Stephen Jr. is sick. I know. Poor little baby. Being sick is no fun. Yeah, Abby said, listen, Gammy, when it's time to go pick up mom, I might still be sick, so I might throw up in your car. I'm like, uh, don't throw up in my car. <laughs> And then Nick called and said, um, I'm going to pick up Randy from school. The reason we're picking up, they only have one car right now, is Nick kind of got in a fender bender like a month ago, and the car is still in the shop. I don't understand. 90% of pattern books on clearance at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, after, after we finish working on this pocket shawl tonight, guys, or right after we get done with this video, let's all go watch Kim's video. Well, I already watched it, but I might watch it again. Ooh, Facebook users going to try socks soon. Deneen, I have wiped so many snotty noses today. The littles are little snots today. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. The boogers. Jamie, shout out to Affordably Crafty Kim. She crocheted 21 cotton dishcloths and had nearly perfect edges. That is amazing. Kim, Stephen Jr., thankfully... In Steve's Jeep, but not on the Jeep. <laughs> oh, good, good. He like threw up in a cup or something. Yay! Thanks, thanks for uh thanks for putting up Kim's link, Jamie. The the mod of the year. <laughs> crochet King, almost done with the hood for my costume. It was 62 rows of single crochet, and then thankfully the other part is half double crochet. All right. Yeah, single crochet can go very, very slow. Facebook user had to order more yarn. It came in today. I'm waiting for some stuff to come in the mail. Cheyenne, we are using a seven millimeter crochet hook. And as soon as I finish this, like I was telling everyone, I have not finished the whole length of the, of the scarf part of the shawl, but I'm going to show you Yay, went from mod to mod. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like the same thing, isn't it? Because <laughs> you're just like taking care of a of a bunch of, of, of wild people here <laughs> in the chat. Oh, did you guys, whoops, did you guys see this? You know what this was at Michael's that I got a couple of weeks ago? Look at that. Look at that. You know what it is? Michelle, okay, I'm on the desktop now. I had to kick the littles off so they can eat supper. Good job, Michelle. Ooh, Kim says, sneak peek my video tomorrow. I will be blindfolded in. That is so cool. <laughs> it's going to be like, what, what was that show where Sandra Bullock and everybody had to have blindfolds and they couldn't look at the things that were outside? <laughs> Hi, Sherry. Deneen, use Big Twist Value color eggplant for my state shopping trip. Ooh, using Big Twist. I love eggplant color. You do have a cooking spinoff sometimes. <laughs> yes, yes, she does. Film tomorrow, up Thursday. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I'm at the end of this row almost, and I'm gonna show you what I do. Okay. Dee, 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 dee. So if I miss some of the, if I miss some of the comments, it's because I'm super duper concentrating. Cheyenne, Kim, how did your car inspection go today? Hopefully well. Kim, keeping my opinions as unbiased as possible. But if she has uh, strong feelings about something, she is going to let everybody know. I'm just... Okay, so here's how much I've got of my pocket shawl so far. And I think it's about six feet 
and I was wanting to get 84 inches, so that's more like seven feet. Oh, anyway, I was going to tell you what this thing is. It's a skull. It like is a white skull, and inside it's ceramic, and inside of it is a pink brain and that's the candle i got it at michael's it was awesome i had to get it luckily it was 50 percent off when i got it so i got it for like seven bucks or something it's a skull with a pink brain and i lit the candle okay so here we go hi christina i'm going to pull I'm going to pull the guts out of out of my skein of yarn. Hopefully, oh, I I wish they would just make. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> is the candle too close to the wood? And no, it's not. I I made sure that the candle that the little leaf that was close to it is away from it. And it's like, no, it's far away from the, it's sitting right on the front of the thing. And, oh, hi, Yarn Fairy. Tell Mr. Ed hi. Oh, Anthony, cool weather on the way. I'm so happy. Oh, Michelle, your furls are going out tomorrow. Wait a minute. No, it's not a battery. It's it's a real flame. <laughs> if it catches on fire, if anything catches on fire, we'll all be here. So we will catch it. <laughs> oh, I make I make my kids nervous. <laughs> Hi, Jesse Gypsy. Oh my gosh, this is yeah, if I find Oh, did I find, no, did I find it? Let's see, this is going to be, forget about it. It's a tutorial on how to find the end of the yarn. You just keep going and you don't stop. <laughs> Deneen, because I don't know how to, how to talk to Lawrence 911. Uh, we, let me, let me tell you, we'll have to call We'll have to call 911 about this tangle of yarn before we'll have to, um, you know, worry about. <laughs> yarn Fairy, he says hi. He's in the middle of a pulled pork sandwich. Nice. Oh, I hope it's good. Anthony, bring your plants in midweek. Frost is coming. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Anthony. I'm. In fact, I was planning on bringing my plants in over the next couple of days. <laughs> But thank you for thinking about me. Kim, anxiety, don't look away from the live. Well, that that's one way to get viewers to stay. Yeah, maybe there'll be a fire tonight. Maybe there'll be some excitement and, and my whole yarn stash will just light up. <laughs> Sarah, I would love to have a furls. Oh, but it isn't in my budget. Sarah, every once in a while, they, um, they have their... Their, their seconds that they sell, they sell their kind of the imperfects and they're like half price. So they're like $12. Debbie, I have become a furls addict too. Yarn Fairy, I hope so too. It's been in the crock pot since four. Oh, I bet that's so good. Ooh, Facebook user is watching while working on dinner. <laughs> Kim, you are so welcome, Sherry. What did you get? Oh, I'm almost, I've almost found the end. It's it. Oh, it's a uh, elusive little rascal. There we go. All right, got that. And now, remember last week when I was saying to make ten extra inches for the pockets? I'm probably going to have more like a foot. I like really, really deep pockets. So I mean, like I said, it's not. This isn't an exact, you know, exact thing. So you can make the pockets however big you want. Just know that you have to add that many inches on each end for um, 
you know, for the pockets. Just so it stays the same length as the scarf. On sale for 24 plus buy two, get three free. Yeah. Like, I can, I can only buy things if they are on super sale. <laughs> Thank you, Tanya. <laughs> I, oh, honey, are you home? Maybe it was the cat. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, my kids just laugh at me and they say, oh, mom, you, <laughs> you, you act all, you act all crazy, but you're not. I'm like, <laughs> I have fooled them. <laughs> Wait, hold a minute. Let me go up here. Um, hi, Kimmy. Kimmy Crochet. Kim says, Alice, how many patterns did you buy today? Yeah, Debbie Wright. I only get them on sale. Redneck Crafter Michelle. Hi. Only have two wood furl streamline hooks. The, the wood. I think the wood are my favorites. I don't know. Either the regular stream... <laughs> They're my favorites for different things because in the Odyssey are my favorite for crocheting little things. Kim, the dishcloths did look good. Hi, Tracy. You're on work. You're on work lunch. Sherry, well, one, I got a knit dishcloth one and a crochet sock one, an Afghan one. I wanted a baby one, but they did not have one. Mine had more quilt books. Okay. Cats want to be called honey, too. Oh, that's true. Little honey kitties. All right, let's get started. Let's get this party started. This is how big I'm going to make my pockets. It can be 10 inches. It can be a foot. But see what I all I've done is I have folded it over at the end of my scarf to make it as big as I want my pocket to be. And I'm going to want them kind of deep. So I'm making them a little deeper. And, whoops, let me go up here. Hi, Samantha. Anthony, Columbus holiday this weekend. I call it Columbus holiday, indigenous people's holiday, whatever people want to call it. That's what I'm calling it. I will respect everybody's name for the holiday. Hi, Connie. Holler from Virginia. Woohoo! Lori, oh, had to get coffee. I made some right before I got on here, so I'll have to go make some. Alice, you laugh, but I added four to the stash. My justification being I didn't have, oh, any hat or mitten patterns, and it was a bad day at work. <laughs> yeah, that's a... Uh, you added four more pattern books? I mean, they're like yarn. You can't have too many. Retail therapy is real. That's Kim saying it. It is real. Hi, Ivy B. Hi, Tanya. Thumbs up, Yarnaholics. Thanks ever so much. I think we are all Yarnaholics. <laughs> Hi, Maribel. Hi, Lucy. Still finishing my daughter's blanket. Hopefully, I'll get it done tonight. Fingers crossed. Okay, here we go. Well, everybody's saying hi. I'm going to get on this thing and start crocheting. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you um, have the same number of rows on this end folded over that you will have on the other end folded over. So once you decide how big you want your pockets to be, whether it's 10 inches or a foot or whatever, Oops, and see, I'll show everybody again. You just fold those ends over. Count your rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, I have 20 rows. That's a good, that's a good number. Now, what you're going to do is attach uh, See right here, you've got the two pieces that are folded right there. And attach your yarn 
at that folded side and just go right through both both pieces of uh, of scarf and just do a slip stitch chain one and then making sure all the way up that those two sides are matched together on the stitches so that you know you're not making one longer than the other you don't accidentally have 22 rows on the back and 20 rows on the pocket just make sure that you have those two match together all the way along while you're crocheting okay so for every i don't know if you can see it because it's kind of dark for every row oops for every row i have starting to crochet up the side i am going to put two half double crochets in each row so by the time this is crocheted together, it will be 40 stitches across. Hi, Gloria. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm gonna say hi, Kim. I'm not quite sure how you say your first name. Is it um, when? Let me know how to pronounce that because I'm not real sure. Where I'm, I'm real big. I want to get the pronunciation of everybody's names right. But welcome, welcome all the way from Vietnam. I'm so, so happy. That's like, what time is it there? <sighs> okay, let's get this, let's get this shawl started. So crowing, we're crocheting up, up the side right now. We're crocheting half double crochets. Kim will show on Affordably Geeky Live tomorrow morning, 9 to 10.30ish a.m. Eastern here on Yarn Geek. So here on Yarn Geek tomorrow morning at 8 Central. Alice, yes, I believe in copyright laws. Not the Etsy is perfect in this, not that Etsy is perfect in this area, but it feels better than an Etsy for designer protection. Um, I'm going to pretend like I know what's going on in the conversation. <laughs> da -da. All right, we're getting these together. So, uh, what have you guys been up to today? I have been watching babies. I've been with babies all day. Maybe that's why I'm so talkative right now. Just jibbery jabbery because being around kids all day will do that. Pinterest versus Etsy. Okay, so how many of you all actually were able to crochet the whole length of the scarf this week. I almost got it. If I wouldn't have had to uh, like, you know, do other stuff, I would have had it done. Oh, <laughs> and once again, oh my goodness, Lori, whoops, what did Lori say? Lori, put application in on a part of this morning. All right, good luck. You'll get it. Cheyenne, I just realized my scarf part isn't long enough. How long do you recommend it be? Okay, Cheyenne, this is the way I measure my scarves. So I I hold it like right at the top of, you know, top of my head and if the length of it hits the ground, just hits the ground, then it is the right length. I make my scarves the length of the body of the person that I'm making it for. And since this one's for me, I'm making it the length of my body. Then, you know, you wanna add in enough length to cover the size of your pockets. So I'm making mine 
I said 10 inches last week. Really, it's however big you want your pockets to be or however deep you want your pockets to be. Mine are a little deeper than 10 inches. I'd say they're a foot. So that means I had to crochet an extra two feet onto the scarf part of, of the uh, pocket scarf. Duh. Okay. Now, on to crocheting. Air register. Oh, like air conditioner. <laughs> Hi, TKW. All right, getting this done. So, like I said, be sure while you're doing it to match uh, row for row as you're going so that it all turns out uh, right in the end because you don't want one to be longer than the other. Sherry says, okay, I'm 5'2 and have the shortest arms. <laughs> Kim, uh oh, another reason I need more yarn. 5'9 over here. Oh my gosh, I wish I was 5'9. Like I told you guys, I have a sister that's 5'9. I always wished I was taller. Yay, for once being a shorty pays off. I know. You know, and. If I could ever get my get my butt to actually go outside and like do some exercise to to uh, you know shriek a little bit, that would help to use less yarn too. <laughs> TKW is only five two. Lucy, air vent where the air from the air conditioner flows out. Oh, okay. I don't know my air conditioners. Hi, Granny D. Good evening. Hi, honey. It wasn't the cat. It was my husband. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Howdy do. We call it an air register, the vent they, that moves the air. Okay, well, I don't know much about that stuff, so... I'll leave it to, to you guys out there that are the experts. Five feet tall here, IB Serenity, is vertically challenged. And Lori is only 5'2". We've got a bunch of shorties here. Hi, Amy. Hi, Ed. I'm 5'3", I'm so I'm not much taller. <laughs> Haven't done fitness in over a year. Would my heart panic and try to kill me if I started now? When, you know, when I first started doing the lives, Alice, you were out running every day weren't you kim motivation finally purchased a new charger for my fitbit oh nice gift a few years back or maybe just my competitive nature <laughs> yeah it's probably that <laughs> okay let me count again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, oh, Jamie's 4, 8. Jamie's as cute as cute can be. <laughs> you guys tell me if you see flames. <laughs> Denine, I asked if it is covered because you are always hot. Oh, though there is no yarn movement in the room. So the wait a minute, there's no air movement in the yarn room. I, you know, yeah, I see what you're saying. It's no, I don't know what it is. I think it's just because this house doesn't, it's, it's kind of old. I don't know what's wrong with it. It gets hot upstairs. And so, um, yeah, it just stays hot upstairs unless it's winter time. Sherry, my four kids are taller than me. My husband is six, six foot one. Doris, I am five foot as well. Alice, I was and I was and then life. Oh, and then life, right. Life and work. Yeah, if only the life and work would just be.
be like listen to us and say okay okay life and work we need some me time you just gotta need to hold up for a while <laughs> lucy just start slow go walking for 10 minutes and walk a bit longer every day i know that's what i need to do <laughs> hi vicky and and you vastly overestimate how fit I was then. Well, you know what? If you were getting out and running every day, that's pretty fit. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, 16. 17. <laughs> Amy is 5'7". Oh my goodness. You're tall too. Amy's does cardio every morning have to put it in your schedule yeah <laughs> Kim oh nope not a morning person I am a morning person maybe that's oh I bet that's why I always get in trouble on Saturday mornings because it's early and so Kim's not, Kim's not a morning person she's kind of grumpy <laughs> I'm just Greedy D, or it, or it, or is it shrunk? Uh oh, what, what shrunk? <laughs> Amy King, send my daughter to school and jump on an elliptical. That, that's some good stuff. I used to have an elliptical a long time ago. <sighs> and then life. <laughs> TKW, I get my 10,000 steps Monday through Friday, not on the weekend. Well, you get a break on the weekend. And that's good. Ed, I'm awake every morning between 5 and 5.30. Oh, my gosh. Alice, question for bedroom homeowners. Is your mattress meant to be shallower than your beefcake? Or am I missing something? What? <laughs> Michelle, my nephew said I'm short. I tell him everyone's short to you because you're six foot and seven inches. Holy smokes. Kim, oh, no. I am... I am up. My mode is sleep, if possible. You aren't cranky pants. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just crazy. Kim, Alice, can you unpack this Irish message, please? What? <laughs> where did where did beefcake come from? Yeah, that's what I want to know, Alice. We're talking about beefcake. You're talking about beefcake. I'm not even quite sure what beefcake is. <laughs> Is it a beef in cake form? Oh my goodness. Deneen wakes up at 445. Oh, that's what it is. It's after midnight and Alice is just tired. Okay, let me count this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, halfway through, it's looking right. Beefcake oh, equals Chippendale's dancers. Alice, do you have Chippendale's dancers on your bed? Vicky, how's the shawl going? I got here late. It's going good, Vicky. We're we're stitching together the sides to make the pocket right now. And when you get to the end. Um, when you get to the end of stitching up the sides, you keep going along the side crocheting two half double crochets into the side of every row. <laughs> Lucy says, beefcake equals handsome man. Alice, I was trying to say bed frame. <laughs> Michelle, they, <laughs> wait a minute, what? They used to call cute guy beefcake Jamie bed frame. Oh my God. <laughs> Alice wouldn't say no to someone else in the bed, but I am seriously single. <laughs> Jamie, I'm dying up here, Alice in Ireland. <laughs> Alice in Ireland's got the beefcakes on her bed. <laughs> Didn't need Mr. Salt and Cranky Pants. Is that like Bravia and Butthead? Just kidding. <laughs> Bravia or Beavis? <laughs> Lucy 
messy love hate relationship with spell check. <laughs> Hi, Nicole. Alice says, I think, well, duh, no matter, no wonder your mattress is sad. <laughs> you know, I'm just kidding. Yarn fairy, if you're lucky enough, you might have a beauty in your bed frame. <laughs> Alice, it's been a long day. <laughs> Kim, hi, Nicole. Welcome in. Yes, welcome, 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 Nicole. You have, you have come in on a, uh, on a um, scandalous part of our conversation. <laughs> we were, spell check gets all of us for sure. Okay, there's 22, 23, 24. I have to keep, I have to keep my count or I lose track. And then, um, I know, right? We need to put this into a book. <laughs> Granny D says, hi, Yarn Fairy. Rita, I kept calling my students all the wrong names today. Just killed me off. Just killed me how off I was today. It's, you know what? It happens. Yeah, right? Right, Mirabelle? <laughs> okay, we'll clean it up. You guys, I'll clean it up. Yarn Fairy says, hi, Granny D. Kim, this is reaching Yarniversity <laughs> level shenanigans. Okay, we'll clean it up. Alan, oh, Michelle, if I have beefcake in my bed, <laughs> that's her favorite. <laughs> Alice, oh, Yarn Fairy, I bet you have all the beefcake. <laughs> Cheyenne, so are we are we weaving in the sides of the pockets and making the borders? Sorry, all this beefcake talk is making me laugh too much. No, you know what? But if it if it helps to do that to kind of tack it together, weaving it together before you actually start crocheting the uh, half double crochets into the side, you can do that. I just go ahead and crochet it. Um, I just am going ahead and crocheting it right in. And uh, here's the rest of the shawl. And right after, see how those, it's kind of hard to see because it's dark, but this is the shawl side and this is the pocket side. And I'm almost finished stitching this side together and then I'm going to continue up the rest of the scarf. But yeah, as far as weaving it, weaving in or sewing it together, um, you know, I would, I would do it to tack it together. If you feel more comfortable doing that, you know, kind of like you do in sewing, tack something together. Nicole has made ponchos, but not shawls before. Both are super duper fun. I've only made one poncho and it was for somebody else and she loved it. Yeah. Amy, we blink him. <laughs> Your very shenanigans are a good thing. <laughs> oh no, King, that puts my bad day to shame. Oh, wait, wait a minute, what happened? Your wheelchair rolled down the store parking lot and my caregiver had to chase it. Oh my gosh. Was everything okay? Granny D, I very much miss Reggie and the Yardiversity gang. Is she, now is she go is she coming back on? <laughs> Alice, you never know. <laughs> Kim King during this live? Oh, thank you Nicole. It is Lion Brand jeans color. And it is uh it's making a very nice the weight for this is perfect for a pocket scarf. I made a pocket scarf with jeans, but I made it in the top stitch color a couple of years ago. And so when I was thinking of, of making this pocket shawl, I uh, automatically thought of all my blue jeans yarn that I have. You know, Nicole, 
I need to write a pattern for it. And it'd be a super easy pattern to write up. So I am going to say yes. And I'm going to write a pattern for this because this pattern wouldn't be any more difficult than the two patterns that I just wrote for the squares. Which, by the way, if you guys head over to my website, and um, my website is www.theyarngeeks.com, I have some uh, free patterns on the website. I have the two patterns, the two squares that I made for the uh, the make along that's going right now, the two eight inch squares, one of which is the pattern for the basket weave stitch that we did a couple of weeks ago. And one is for the Tunisian honeycomb entrelac that we made a few months ago. So if any of you were wanting to have the written pattern, for those stitches, it is up on my website right now. So, so I, I do actually write patterns. So hopefully I can get this, I wanna, I wanna get it out soon. <laughs> Crochet King, I had forgotten that I took my brakes off and took my hand off of it so the caregiver could take it apart. Oh no, well, was everything okay? Oh, Vicky, you got the jeans yarn today. And it seems really, oh, really thin. It it does feel like a thinner, like a thinner four weight. But once you've crocheted with it, it's weird because it feels right. It like, it doesn't feel like a three weight when you crochet with it. It's weird because when you hold it, it feels a little like a three weight. But the finished product feels like a four weight. It's so weird. Oh, got it back without any scratches. That's good. That's good. Okay, I got to count this again because I lost track. <sighs> Jamie, here, King, link throw yarn. Oh, okay. Yes, there is uh, <laughs> Crochet King's, the link for his channel. Thank you so much, Jamie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Oh, I lost track. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-three. Ooh, Lucy wants to make a shawl with sleeves. That would be pretty. Oh, the kind where you uh, crochet the cuffs onto it. And here we go, 24. 24. And 25. King is also on Instagram. I did not know that. Oh, yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> I was just thinking that I didn't. Vicki, I am using a seven millimeter hook. And for any of you um, who weren't here last week, the first part of the pocket shawl is on last week's video and or last week's live, last Tuesday. And it's, I don't have part one written on it. It's a let's make a pocket shawl. But this week has pocket shawl in number two. Kim, oh, there was a pattern book that on that specific technique at Hobby Lobby. Oh, what technique? I wanna know the technique. 27. Twenty-eight. <laughs> Shawl plus sleeves. That would be that would be nice. Twenty eight, twenty nine. This is a number on. This is a t tutorial on counting. <laughs> okay, thirty, 
taking crocheting with me. Oh, where are you going, Danine? 30. Okay, I'm at 30. 31. Oh, 32. Lori, I just finished my shawl with sleeves over the weekend out of, oh, cool. Okay, here we go. <laughs> 37. Ginger, do we get an A plus? We can count to 30. Yes, you all get A pluses. Kim, oh, my reel yesterday is doing good, I think. Almost at 3K views. That is very, very, very good, Kim. That's awesome. And I still haven't gotten a chance to go look at it. I'm going to watch it right after, right after we finish here. King says, wait till you see my video, my stocking up on yarn. I have to use a cart instead of a hand basket on my lap. And I play basket yarn <laughs> to put them in the cart. That's perfect. We like playing basket yarn. Hi, Bear. I'm amazed you can count and keep track while talking with us. <laughs> sometimes it's hard and sometimes I have to have to count over again. Alice, I might be good this time, but then there may be a drop off for a while. On, on what? <laughs> I got lost. I got lost in conversations and I ran all the way down to the bottom. Denine, I am going to Walmart for grocery pickup. Oh, yay! We're going to Walmart. Kim, sorry to take up 30 seconds of your time. Literally. Kim, be nice. <laughs> be nice. Alice, basket yarn, the next new Olympic sport. Lucy, I have a pattern for a, a shawl with sleeves, but other projects. Yeah, I totally know how that is and Amy's laughing. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. How are you doing? Good evening. Or is it good morning? Alice, IG is fickle. Yeah, th 3,000 is really good. Jamie, Denine, I don't envy you at all. Oh, really? You know what happened to my chair? The beefcake stuck it. <laughs> oh my gosh, King. Jeannie, my lab is 13 years old and not in the mood for these shenanigans and let cat know it, lol. I'm not a huge fan of house cats, but the four, <laughs> poor little thing is so scrawny. Oh, no. Yeah, my, my daughter's dogs and cats do that to each other all day long. They're just like, yeah, animal, other animal from a different animal type. I am not in the mood for you. <laughs> Kim, I am being nice. Wait until you see me tomorrow if you haven't watched yet. Oh, oh, that's exciting with the blindfold. I am good. It's morning. Uh, morning is the best part of the day. Yarn Fairy, that's one sport where we could all be contenders for sure. If we ever have a big meetup, we're going to have to play games and that's going to be one of them. <laughs> Didn't he not going anywhere without keys? Ugh. Yeah, I have. The, I lose my keys every day, even though they're right on my neck. Alice, LOL, King. <laughs> You're on live. <laughs> Jamie, let's do a 5 a.m. affordably crafty tomorrow. We can see how happy our kid is. <laughs> Crocheting Paralympic new sport basket shopping. That's perfect. <laughs> Kim says, shut it, Jamie. <laughs> We're all getting a little crazy tonight. <laughs> okay, I only have to count one more time. This is the last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33.
isn't beefcake something you feed your cats? <laughs> yeah, the little pate. Lucy, Kim, you look, you differently took up more than 30 seconds of your, you, oh, you definitely took up more than 30 seconds of my morning watching your live. Aw. Mine are on a key ring, though. <laughs> It is good to have keys on a key ring. <laughs> I put that one on one. <laughs> Jamie's laughing. <laughs> Any Kim says, shut it in the most, most, most affectionate ways. <laughs> yeah, it's not that I'm not a morning person. It's just that I'm not a sleeping person. I do not like to sleep. Lisa, I have been good. How have you been? I haven't seen you very much. Alice, oh, to make it an equal spore, we could all do it in the chairs we crochet on if we put casters on the chair legs. Yes, that would be perfect. Yarn Fairy, that's why I work 11 hour, same, that's why I work 11 hour overnight shifts. I used, I worked overnight shifts for years. Alice, Vicky, what are you feeding your cats? Hi, Gracie. Yeah, watch the, watch the replay. <laughs> you guys, I am going to need to write a pattern for this because apparently I'm not great at explaining it while we're talking. <laughs> crochet, crochet king, if we all got together, I can tie us all together on my chair. Then we can have synchronized shopping. <laughs> and we'd all be doing the together, like hook shotting a yarn into our cart and we'd be going... <laughs> That sounds like a viable plan, <laughs> says Yarn Fairy. Okay. I'm going to have to count this again. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Lisa, I've, I've been good. I've been around. It depends on the time. Yeah, I know. The time difference can really make things bad. Hi, little baby spooky bats. Hello, hello. Oh, little baby spooky bats. Since you like the spooky stuff, look, check this out. I got a skull and it has a pink brain candle in it. It's really cool. <laughs> Lori, I worked 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. for 20 years. I guess that has my internal clock all messed up. Then I convinced my husband to work overnight. Now he's on your schedule. That's good. That's good. Oh, Jamie. I couldn't handle synchronized shopping. Too much sensory overload. We get all.
Okay. What did I do now? Oh, what did Kim do? Oh. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Hold on. Can you hear me now? We have sound. Yay. Yay. Success. You guys are awesome. Because I was about to like be really we uh oh geez we're gonna be back on just in time to go off <laughs> i am alive <laughs> i i added the uh in there michelle <laughs> yes gloria yes back on and I don't know what happens when my stitch is here. I'm supposed to have 40. I only have 36. So I'm going to have to go back through here and maybe, I don't know if I'm going to though. I think I'm going to leave it at this. <laughs> hi, Bex. Hello. Hi, Facebook user. Oh, you guys, it was a close one. I was, my, my sound got kicked off. And so we didn't know what we were, what was going on. <laughs> Oh, Deneen, I'm sorry. That was a boring drive. Oh, Amy, I messed up my counting because you were not counting with me. Oh, no. Well, I'm going to go fix it. I'm going to go. I'm going to go fix this. I'm going to go. When we're finished here, spend some time with my husband. And I really do want to write a pattern for this. So keep your fingers crossed. I'm in the pattern writing mood. So, and you guys, we will see each other all tomorrow morning on my channel right here on Yarn Geek, Affordably Geeky Live, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. <laughs> have some coffee, Lisa. I am. I'm going to go have some coffee for sure because I have not had enough coffee today. <laughs> oh, may the pattern writing go well for you. Thank you, Bear, and everyone. Okay, show of hands, who all would actually use the pattern if I put it up on my website? Because I'm thinking about doing that. Oh, and I wanted to let everybody know, too, any pattern that I actually write and get out and have a PDF for, um, uh, I will be... For, for people who join the memberships, all levels of membership, I'm going to be sending a free PDF pattern for you. All you need to do is uh, like email me, let you know I want it, and I'll send you all of them. So I will tell Casey and the boys hi, and you guys have a wonderful, wonderful night and crochet some fun stuff. <laughs> Love you. This was really a fun night, you guys. Love you guys. Bye. Oh, Lucy has a hand up. Yay.